How's it going and welcome back to the Coffee and Scotch Esports Show. I'm your host, Bowman Shoda, and today is all about Overwatch. Now, obviously, Overwatch is a brand new game by Blizzard that just came out, and we're going to be talking about the esports scene and kind of where it sits right now and the potential it has going forward. So sit tight, hang on, and let's dive right into it. That are owned, and right now, Clutch only have their mercy down. Overwatch has taken the world by storm with its wildly successful launch and the esports side of things started out with a bang as well. Take TV's EU tournament and esports arena's NA tournament both were met with decent viewership and decent competition. Team Rogue won Take TV's grand final while Cloud9 took esports arena's grand final. My only real criticism of either competition, as you can see in the clip above, is the action is very difficult to follow. Now, whether that has to do with Overwatch as a game itself, or whether or not it's a new game and the people working the cameras weren't very comfortable with switching and finding the action um, like more traditional esports, which the cameramen have a few years of practice under their belts. Plus, I know in Take TV's tournament, uh, the, ca the casters were also the cameramen in that case, and that's always challenging to, to pull double duty like that especially with a new game when you're trying to, to always have the action on screen. A lot of memories of this place. Now overall, Overwatch is an outstanding game and from a player's perspective it is extremely satisfying to, to play and some of the champions like Hanzo like I'm playing right here is very very fun to do and as you're probably seeing right now on the screen that headshot is freaking so satisfying when you see that from from that long of a distance so it's one of those things where if esports is going to be successful they have to make sure those moments that are so satisfying are captured by the cameraman are captured and showcased to the viewers because you know highlighting a moment where like say if Hanzo fires off his ultimate from across the map and gets three kills but all you see is just the little kills light up because he fired it through 17 walls it's not as exciting, but if you could get the viewpoint from the person dying of Alsa and Hanzo's ultimate coming and just obliterating the team, you know, in their face, that would be very exciting. So perspective matters, and camera work matters, and the production crew matters for a successful esport. You look at the top esports in the world right now, and the reason, half the reason they are, is not just because the players are skilled, but it's because the skill can be showcased by the production crew to the maximum effort. So that way people go crazy when someone gets a 1D, when someone gets a, that op shot that's pixels, when someone, you know, just 1v3 someone in League of Legends or Dota 1v5 someone, you know, like those amazing moments have to be caught by the production crew. Otherwise, fans will not react the way you want them to. So, overall, though, I think Overwatch will be a successful esport because that camera work can definitely be something that it's worked out with, with people practicing doing it on multiple events and also with Blizzard support helping maybe giving them additional tools for that spectator mode to really try to capture the action. I will say, you know, a, a dynamic camera or something like that, the fact that Overwatch already has highlight clipping available it's something that definitely needs to be looked into and see if that can be utilized by the, the, the production crews in these upcoming esports tournaments to, to maximize the crowd reaction, essentially. Overall, it's obviously way too early to really pass judgment on whether or not Overwatch will be successful or not successful as an esports. We all hope it's successful because it is a blast to play. I've been playing it daily since it came out, and I played a lot during the open beta. So here's hoping the esports scene continues to thrive to where we have big tournaments because right now the time is ripe for esports. We, we, we saw the premiere of the E-League last week, um, which I have a couple videos out between um, all my series talking about that. And we also have, you know, potential opportunities with other esports getting on TV going forward. I mean, we've had Heroes of the Dorm, we've had Mortal Kombat, um, all have been fairly successful on TV, and now Counter-Strike has had an outstanding opening weekend. So you do have to wonder with how beautiful Overwatch is, if you can't tell from the graphics above, and I don't even have the best graphics card, and it looks amazing. And that about wraps it up for me on the Coffee and Scotch Esports show. Uh, if you're looking for, to watch a huge tournament coming up on June 4th, Esports Hero on Esports Hero's Twitch 
channel is going to be having um, a huge tournament. Cloud9 is going to be there. A bunch of Hearthstone pros are going to be there. Um, the championships will be around 8 p.m. Eastern, but it starts earlier that day and it's going to run all day. Uh, other than that, like, share, and favorite this as you see fit. Check out more great content on esports.online, and you all have a wonderful day.